What's up everyone? We're back at SEMA. This is technically day two for us because we were here yesterday, but it's day one, opening day for the public. Um, we're at the Aturo booth where we got the charger behind us. Everything looks good. The, all the plastics off the carpet. The car is looking great. We went and checked out the Cuda this morning. We saw the GR86. That's all clean. Everything's looking nice outside. Um, so yeah, we're going to take you guys through, uh, you know, I guess some stuff that we like in the show, some, some other builds. And we'll also show you, you know, I guess some walk around to our stuff again too, because we like it. So we'll see you guys in the, uh, in the next clip. Behind the camera today, little little change of Hi guys. change of pace. <laughs> yeah, man. What are you guys at? Hey everyone, it's Aaron Duncan with uh, Duncan Brothers Customs, and what we decided to bring to SEMA this year was probably one of the more unique builds I think we've done. In Definitely we took some inspiration from the 612 guys, especially on the carbon fiber front and on the Mopar front. Um, so what we have here is actually a 2012 Boss 302 Laguna Seca Mustang. And um, the owner uh, kind of let us have an open palette with it. Unlike the cars we've done in the past that you guys have seen where we were making it look just like a Shelby or just like a John Wick car, or just like a car, um, we had a blank slate. Uh, we could do whatever we wanted. So my approach was kind of like, well, if the Ring Brothers did a retro conversion of one of our cars, what would it kind of end up looking like? And so we kind of went from there, and I wanted it to be a culmination of every great muscle car that I love. So if you start from the front, it's essentially, we took a 2012 hood under, and then R69 mold on top, and then, you know, R69 Mustang mold, and then cut out the center section of a 68 GTO hood and then blended it all together and made it work. And then did a double carbon fiber stripe with some points in the front to kind of accentuate the widow's peak. And uh, that was one trick. And um, kind of when you say it out loud, it sounds crazier than it looks because it was trying to make it seamless uh, was our main goal. And then something I always hated on these cars was the 70 Mustangs uh, always had these fake headlight or the fake air ducts. And so we essentially cut the air duct out and put an HID from a 2015 Mustang in place of it, move the air duct down to our custom front dam that we made and uh, have air routing to the brakes now. Um, got rid of all the chrome on the car, uh, painted everything body colored match and or did carbon fiber on any of the stainless trim. Um, did a six piston caliper uh, brake from uh, Bayer. Uh, you know, the whole theme of this car was that it was uh, sort of a Frankenstein together of different cars. So the car being a real Boss Road 2 Laguna Seca, I don't know if I mentioned, but that's uh, one of 700. We've been calling it the Franken Boss because there's probably 15 cars all in this one car. Um, so uh, one cool thing was we found out Bayer had a, a brake called Monster Green and it just totally fit into the theme of the car and we started kind of implementing a little more green here and there. And uh, you know, we did custom headlights, we did a custom interior, and uh, actually our interior people, who is our title sponsor this year, they came up with the idea of taking the Boss 302 logo and putting bolts in, in the Boss part to represent the whole Frankenstein aspect. So um, our headlight guy that made our headlights, he ended up surprising us and putting that same graphic we came up with in the headlight, and it's in stitch in the seat, super cool. Um, did some side splitters that we pulled off a 2015 Mustang um, and then had them wrapped in carbon fiber. Uh, one thing that uh, you know was definitely inspired by the 612 guys in terms of cleanliness and coolness was uh, I always personally loved the uh, 69 Charger, the way the back glass would recess in and the trunk would go straight into it. So we essentially did our quarters a little different and finished them out on the inside and didn't raise the back glass on this one as we normally do. We kind of left it in place and built a whole new trunk to go into it so it would have the look of a 69 Charger and have kind of that recessed windshield look. And then we took a, a 69 Mustang taillight panel, bought some custom lenses um, from England actually that are flush mounted, took the bezels, had them hydro dipped in carbon fiber, and then uh, lastly, the bumper to match, got rid of the fake fuel door on the back, actually added, this is probably one of the best features of the car, is our fuel door on 
the side is from a 1999 Ford Windstone. Pretty cool, uh, a lot of people wouldn't expect that. Uh, but then uh, we took some C7 Corvette diffusers, modified them, and then uh, had them wrapped, uh, modified them actually in a CAD program, and then had them recut, and then put them on the rear of this car and had them wrapped in carbon fiber as well. So very, very unique build. My girlfriend, she also made all these little Franken things. Yeah. She's got a bride one in the passenger seat, actually. So we really leaned into the Frankenstein themes in this thing. But yeah, the car just ended up totally clean. Uh, you know, our buddy Jake, he made a guitar to actually match with the car, a Frankenstein guitar out of a flying V and has like all kinds of lights and crazy cool stuff in it. So um, this was the craziest, funnest build we've ever done. And like I said, we got aspects of GM. We got aspects of, you know, obviously it being a Mustang, it's got a lot of Ford aspects, but also aspects of Mopar. We just wanted to have every kind of cool muscle car to where any guy can see this car and like it, but appreciate the custom touches. Uh, so most people that are seeing it think it's a Resto modded 70 with a bunch of new stuff in it, but not realizing that it's actually a new car that we've put a lot of uh, old parts and old things and old ideas um, into new creative ways you know, on uh, the different chassis. So I'm very proud of this one. It's my favorite car we've ever built. Uh, always wanted to do bronze wheels. First car we've ever done with uh, bronze wheels. American Racing came out with these wheels this year and it just totally fit the bill of what we were after. So uh, very, very happy with it. And then shaved door handles. I know some of your guys' favorite part. We uh, never got to do that before, so this was a cool thing for us to do. Actually shave our trim, too, that goes around here. Normally we have some trim that goes all the way down to the bottom. Uh, so we shaved that as well. And so the whole thing was just getting it as clean as it possibly could be. So yeah, we're uh, extremely happy with this car. And uh, you know, hope we win an award, we'll see. Like, uh, I know we didn't qualify for Battle of the Builders at all, but uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs>